Hello again and welcome back. This week we are picking up right where we left off. In the last video, I went head shopping, found these nice 215 closed chamber heads. I had to drive about two and a half hours away to snag them, but definitely worth it. They've got a lot of machine work already done. They're pretty low mile after all of that work was done as well. So they came with ARP studs in them, came with a comp cams, aluminum die cast roller rockers, has obviously the larger intake and exhaust valves. It's got the 219 by 188s. However, when they went and cut in those larger valves, they really didn't clean up the bowls. So that's what I want to try to tackle this week. Get these things cleaned up, get those bowls blended in with the seats just a little bit better. Hopefully I improve our flow numbers ever so slightly. Then get these things off to machine shop, have them tanked, cleaned up. And hopefully we'll get these back along with our engine block and can start assembly. Over here, parts have been trickling in as always. I went with the Manley Street Flow Valves. Not sure if it's Manley or Manly. Definitely sounds cooler to say, oh yeah, I got some Manly valves on my V8. But uh, either way, got their Street Flow here. Pretty nice units. Got a pretty good undercut on them. Got a little bit of a dish there on the heads. Pretty nice overall. They're definitely much lighter than the other valves that came in those heads to begin with. Now I believe when I picked these up, they said that the intakes were Summit. And they definitely look like the Summit valves. Got a little bit of an undercut on them. They had that one oddball valve here that's flat, no undercut. That one certainly feels the heaviest. Then the exhaust side, they didn't remember what these were. There's no undercut on them, no nothing. Our new ones, again, have a nice undercut on them. A little bit of a dish. They certainly feel lighter. So, to confirm that, I went and stole my wife's uh, coffee scale here. Hopefully she won't watch this video, but we're gonna see just how much lighter everything is. So let's get this on and zeroed out. Let's start with the heavy valve here. So that one is 166.8. Let's go ahead and go with the summit. 164.9, so about 165. I would have thought for sure the Summit was a lot lighter than, than this one. Let's do that again. Yeah, so only about a gram and a half difference there. So pretty shocking. I thought for sure they were going to be much more significant. Let's try the new one. 140.3. See so yeah, a significant difference between the Manly there and the Summit. That's a good 20 grams. That's about, I think, 15% overall. Pretty significant decrease. Let's go ahead and check the exhaust here. 136.6 against 127.4. So about nine grams. I wanna say that works out to about 10% approximately. So yeah, definitely some significant weight savings on the valve side. Let's go with our keepers now. And um, our retainers, 37.2, 36.7. So about a half a gram difference there. Not too much. They look pretty close to each other, especially the retainers. It would not surprise me if these are just summits, which we've seen before. Summits is usually just exact same as wherever Howard sources their stuff from. So I'm not really sure what the springs, retainers and stuff like that are that came on here, but definitely some significant savings in weight. Now, if you remember, we're going with a stroker setup. So we're really gonna be slowing the engine down a bit in terms of our peak RPM. We can't really rev this thing to the moon like a normal L78 would. So we wanna slow that down. We're not really gonna have to probably fight with a valve float as much as we would if we were running the L78, but having that much of a significant difference, just kind of going with the common valves to the slightly more pricier stuff here is certainly gonna help us the couple of times we do get up in those higher RPMs, especially since we're going with the roller setup here. These springs are pretty light, just to be gentle on the cam itself, so having those lighter valves is definitely gonna be a significant improvement. So, with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and clean off the little workbench here. We'll grab one of these heads, set it all up, and start grinding away. 
I set up my light in the back of the intake port there so we can take a peek down the uh, valve seat here and see exactly what I want to work on. So over here on the left is pretty much the worst portion. I'm not sure if the camera picks that up well or not, but there's definitely this bulge right here that really gets into kind of the diameter of the seat itself. So the seat's cut pretty decently down there and then it kind of hits the actual runner and that's where there's these little lips. Over here on the left side, it's really not bad at all. Maybe just a little bit of transition work can be done right there. It's pretty good here on this right hand side into kind of the short radius. But over here on the left, we can definitely widen this out just a little bit and certainly smooth this uh, left edge here considerably. Now we're not gonna be chasing the extremes on this. We just wanna make it better than it is, not go too far with this. It's nice that I can kind of get in over here, kind of feel exactly how thick this portion is so I know what I'm working with. We're definitely not gonna be able to do that on some of these other ones. So hopefully this will give us a rough approximation of what we've got to work with. We're not gonna to take too much out of these things because I just don't have enough experience with these to know how crazy you can get. I know you can do a lot of work here at the top edge of this short radius, but we're probably not gonna deal with much of that. I just wanna get this left side cleaned up a little bit, make it all nice and even. The exhaust ports, for the most part, seem to be really good, so probably not even gonna to touch those at all. I'll put the light in them once more here, take a peek at those, but pretty happy with the way those look. They were all nice and smooth. There really weren't any edges on them or anything like that. Looked like somebody did a really good job of putting those in there. But so the intake sides really didn't look like anybody touched those. So we're going to work on those, try to get those blended in a little bit. We're probably not going to touch the combustion chambers at all yet until I've got the block. So I can get the actual size scribed in there to know. But probably even then won't do a lot of change on the combustion chamber. Might just come through here, take down some of the sharp edges if I can find any. Feels like somebody's already taken out like some of the really sharp ones that usually form right here around the uh, the little valve pocket. So I do apologize in advance. This is going to be quite noisy as I'm using air here <laughs> to do this. So hopefully I'll be able to edit some of that noise out in the background there. So when I'm porting stuff like this, usually I'll just have the hose over my shoulder. And I just kind of get everything in here, kind of mock up my movements just so I can be sure that I'm going to be able to kind of work on the parts I want to work on without getting too out of control here. I definitely don't want this thing jumping around, getting into my seats, that kind of thing. That's why I want to have a lot of good control on this, only take out metal where I want to take it out. So I'm going to probably start just right here along this uh, right edge there. See how good this uh, little bit here is taking out metal. See if I need to switch over to something else. So give this a go here see what we get hopefully it goes pretty smoothly Yeah, seems to be working all right. Pretty slow going at the moment, which I'm okay with, because I do want to take this a bit slow, so. Okay, so I've just been working on this little bottom side over there on the right side, and it's coming together pretty decently. This thing is certainly cutting slow, but I'm okay with that. Kind of want to take my time here on the first one, especially. Just kind of see what I can get it to look like without having to go too extreme. So got a little bit more to do on this upper side here. Got the bottom portion pretty good there. Try to work that in just a little bit more. Yeah, certainly coming along. Now 
Now, at some point or another, the generator, I'm sorry, the compressor is going to kick on that we really won't be able to hear, but for now, certainly making good progress. Pretty happy with the way that this is turning out. The little bit on here seems to be moving just about as much metal ahead of time as I want to go with. It's nothing too crazy, nothing too extreme. So I'm just going to keep working on cleaning some of this up and... It seems like I forgot to turn the compressor back on, so we'll let that charge up here. So I made a little bit of progress over here on this right edge. That's where I've primarily been focusing on, is about the right side of the pocket here so far. Pretty happy with the way it's turned out, letting the compressor there take a rest for a moment. I'll probably take a picture with my camera here so I can show you side to side what I've been working on thus far. Compare like the untouched port over here to where I am thus far. I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out. Really not having to take much material out of here at all. So very happy with that. I did start trying to bring this side down over here on the left. Got quite a ways to go over there. There's quite a bit of meat here. But um, I'm not going to probably try to take this wall all the way over since uh, I think I might get pretty thin in the wall there. I just want to try to smooth this transition out just a little bit more so it opens up into the bowl a little bit easier than how it is presently. So that's what I'm gonna focus on next year and just keep on trucking. So I've got my light installed on the port there so I can kind of see what I'm doing based on the illumination from the back side there, but fortunately it's just kind of glaring there off the camera. So hopefully you'll just have to take my word for it that I'm not screwing up quite just yet. Just trying to slowly work my way down on this uh, left ridge over here, which is pretty much the worst part of the pocket. Get that opened up just a little bit more here, and hopefully this will not be all in vain. So I went ahead and finished up this first one off camera there just because uh, between the compressor and the grinding noise we weren't going to be able to hear anything and there was so much glare here off the surface the camera wasn't going to pick it up very well anyway so just went ahead and finished one out here and it came out really nice. I was able to get this left hand side here to transition really nicely, opened up the top of the short radius just a touch and brought it over just a little bit more towards the left here so the throat is just a little bit wider. Not too much there, 
we still kind of got a little bit of a pinch point in the back right there as it comes through the throat. Didn't really do anything with that, so we should be good there. Just got this bowl blended really nicely into the seat. So pretty happy with the way that turned out. I'll go ahead and take a picture of that with my camera here so you can compare the finished result between this one and the one right next door. So now with that out of the way, I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the rest of these off camera here. I've got to get this other head sitting on the floor down there, stripped off, get that completed, sent off to the machine shop as well. But it is holiday weekend here, Thanksgiving's coming up, all that kind of fun. So that's probably going to do it for this video. Pretty short, we're just still waiting for parts to show up, waiting for the machine shop to get the block actually done for us before we can start assembling stuff. But uh, it's always fun just coming along, knocking out some of this little stuff. So once again, thanks for watching. If you have any advice or comments, feel free to leave those. I always enjoy hearing what you guys have to say, and I will catch you on the next one.